Hello everyone, I'm Hugh Ellenwood. Welcome to another White Rock Museum and Archives video presentation. Well, it's sea festival time again. So to get you in the mood for this year's festival, we're gonna show you some images of sea festivals in the past. But first, here's a bit of history. It could be said that the origins of the White Rock Sea Festival go back to White Rock's May Day, first held in 1923. May Day was an extremely popular community event throughout the 1920s and 30s and had much in common with the Sea Festival, including a major parade along Marine Drive. But by the late 1940s, May Day was seen as being a little old-fashioned, and the last White Rock May Day was held in 1949. The end of May Day created a cultural void for White Rock, with no way for the community to come together to celebrate itself. This problem was solved by a man named Sid Suddy. In 1949, he came up with the idea for a festival in White Rock based on fun activities on the water and the beach, a festival perfectly designed to celebrate White Rock's strengths as a community. The first White Rock Sea Festival was held on July 19, 1952. In the ensuing decades, the festival became a cultural mainstay for White Rock and a much-anticipated summer event for communities all over the Lower Mainland and beyond. That's not to say there haven't been challenges over the decades. 1998 and 2013 saw severe financial problems almost leading to the festival's demise. And COVID-19 led to cancellations in 2020 and 2021. The parade has always been a main event of the Sea Festival. Originally held during the day, it became a nighttime event in 1987 and was renamed the Torchlight Parade. Most of the images you're about to see show the parade, but you'll still get an idea from this video of the incredible diversity of the events in the festival over the years from fireworks to water skiing, to the salmon barbecue, to chess tournaments, even a walk on water competition. The Sea Festival has done it all. Now, I hope you enjoy Memories of the White Rock Sea Festival.
Marlene has, has thought best to cover her cover hers up with a jacket. <laughs> watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed Memories of the White Rock Sea Festival. If you want more information about the Sea Festival or White Rock history in general, you can contact me at archives at whiterockmuseum.ca. I'm Hugh Ellenwood. Bye for now. We hope all of you out there enjoyed the uh, parade. We sure did, and we hope to catch you next year for the fifth uh, annual Torchlight we Parade. We sure do. See you next year. Okay. Thank you. Bye.